You're special and you should know it. And you deserve to get the best for your life. And that's why you guys come over to my Crypto Bliss channel right here with me every single video. I fine tune my videos just for you guys, but I often also keep them quite raw in their content so that there is more realness between yourself and myself as community rather than edited content. So I know sometimes you like to get straight to the point. So let's dive right in here together and let's get going. Well, thank you for being here with me once again. Of course, you know that every single moment here counts for us. And that's exactly why it is that I have been sharing with you some kick ass content right here on my pages. So if you guys have not yet subscribed, well, I don't know what you're waiting for, but I've been pumping coins to you guys that are exploding. And I don't know why this video hasn't got that much traction, but if you guys don't want to watch that video, don't know what to do with you because that's going to be some epic stuff. But guys, let's dive right in. So as we all know, the Ethereum ETF was approved. So why are we not rich yet? Well, I'm just going to cut to the chase. I'm going to ignore all of the sections and the Bs and the whatevers. And the very simple of it is, okay, as you can see here on our Ethereum chart, nothing happened on this news yesterday. This is the daily candle. Nothing happened to us. In fact, we came down a little bit. So what are we doing? Well, just very, very simply right now, just all I want to say to you guys is, have a very, very, very good visual perspective of what that looks like. That is a bull flag, okay? That has a flagpole of such and so. That flagpole will potentially take us to the next level of this target, which I previously said, okay, on a number of videos, which would essentially be this all-time high, okay? Ethereum has to get to that point first before it can break out. Now, we had this massive, massive, crazy pump here. Boom. Guess what? That crossed the ribbon, that crossed the MACD, that crossed the PMO, that crossed everything. That means, guys, undoubtedly, we are going up. The question is, do you have the patience to wait? Because with the ETF approval, the ETFs were approved but that doesn't mean that they started trading, okay? Now, that means after the Ethereum ETF, the approved Ethereum ETF starts trading in the next couple of days, weeks, months, I don't know. Who knows when it'll come, but possibly in the next two weeks. I believe the filings are for around, the launches are for around 14 to 16th of June. So possibly about two weeks. Uh, also that we may have to wait for the liquidity to get this massive spur and rally into the Ethereum price, sending us up to the next level, of course, then of which it's probably going to make a similar pattern. And if anything, I would maybe even say it could pull back down to the 4,000 level to meet the ribbon, because right now it's about to stretch the shit out of this ribbon on the daily time frame, as it would have done here. And as you can see, when we get to levels, we just need a bit of a breather, right? That's all. So we're going to breathe, like I said to you, pump a little bit around here, and then eventually make our way up to the next target. Next target. But as you can see, I've got this very long line out here, which takes me up to about 8,600. Why have I got that very long line on Ethereum? Well, once Ethereum can break through and retest the old previous all-time high as a confirmation, up and handle pattern uh and look how perfectly right now this is set the tone which broke out here this is a perfect pattern guys we're also hitting a lot of sideways resistant horizontal resistance so let's move on from ethereum now that you all know where we're at the launch of the eth etf proves a very basic assumption that the bitcoin etf will not be the only etf or traditional financial market vehicle through which the average institutional investor and consumer can access cryptocurrencies. It will extend beyond Bitcoin to, in this case, ETH. But I personally feel that that's really just the beginning. Just like many systems and protocols initially list Bitcoin and ETH, and then eventually list a multitude of other tokens, that is really the trajectory that we're on. 
So on the one hand, it's significant because the ETH community is, likes it and it relates to the ETH community. On the other hand, it is a sign of a very clear trend that not only Bitcoin, not only ETH, but many other tokens out in the world will end up getting their own ETFs at some point, allowing the larger global capital markets to interact with that financial product. I don't know about you, but Sergey Azarov is correct. So you didn't only hear this from me, but now you're hearing it from Sergey, who's the head of Chainlink, who actually happens to be one of the biggest cryptocurrencies on the blockchain with about 10 billion in, um, in market cap, okay? And ranked currently 15th on the coin market cap. Now, what is the significance of me showing you this content? Well, first of all, Mr. Sergey Nazarov pointed out that it is just the beginning, number one. Number two, it is going to lead, and think about what Ethereum is. Ethereum is a virtual machine, i.e. it is the Web3 or a new version layer of the internet which interacts with dApps, uh, app or yeah, dApps, digital apps, um, security protocols, decentralization, DeFi, and everything runs in the ether. Let's call it that. Hence, Ethereum is quite a very good name. So, shout out to, um, shout out to Mr. Ethereum. Okay. So let's move on from this because essentially, the reason why I'm connecting what Ethereum is going to do because after Ethereum, I would like for you guys to let me know what would be the next crypto to get an ETF approval. Now, bearing this in mind. Chainlink will connect real-world assets, okay, in other words, digital smart contracts with the home, the phone, the TV, the house, the car, and these will all be able to be traded as NFTs, smart contracts, um, and Chainlink happens to be the bridging narrative between the real-world assets and the DAP, the Ethereum of the world, i.e. the internet, the future of the internet. So I do like Ethereum. I'd like to let you guys know that I am very bullish on Ethereum. I still hold Ethereum and Ethereum, hashtag Ethereum. I love what Stock Money Lizard says here because now I'm giving you a third person's view, not just mine, but other professionals in the industry that are also guiding us to the best possible place. And if you guys are not participating in the sector, I can feel you're going to miss out on this. You're going to miss out on this because we are only getting just started right now. Why is that? Because that's why everything is linked to Bitcoin, even the ETF approval. If Bitcoin didn't have an approval, that means Ethereum wouldn't have had an approval. That means a whole bunch of other cryptocurrencies that fall under the category of Ethereum and running on the EVM would not exist. It is coming. I want to know from you guys what you think that this is about to unfold. And hence my ridiculously outrageous predictions on crypto markets, on, um, on Bitcoin prices, on massive gains in the market, on uh, ridiculous conversions of, you know, a K into 1 million. There was a dude the other day that I saw an article somewhere that traded $17,000 into $2.7 million, guys, on an, uh, on an altcoin. Holy shit. Okay. So it's not unachievable. Okay. Maybe some instances you need a bit more, more money if you get in early, whatever the scenario is. I've got in really early onto one particular coin that is on the Solana blockchain. Um, that is a very total shit meme coin. But I believe as a game, it's very similar to Mario Brothers. And it is a very beautiful version of that on the Solana chain. If you guys want to know more about that, let me know down below and smash the thumbs up. So yeah, if we get 20 likes on the video, I will do a video for you guys on that particular token. Um, and yeah, of course, not financial advice. But I mean, this coin here. Clintex, I talked to you guys about 52,000 X's in that coin. Mega, mega rich. I don't know about you guys, but I've been talking to you for a long time. So if you haven't been connecting with me on my community, my channel, which I can see my community is growing and I really appreciate all of those who are 
beautiful loyal subscribers to the channel you guys are absolutely phenomenal so let's get cracking on because today the cryptocurrency market cap is currently sitting at a whopping 2.7 trillion dollars 73 billion in trading volume over the last 24 hours it's obvious that it would diminish again because it's now the weekend so retail like you and i are trading 73 billion dollars where is 73 billion dollars coming from in our retail guys well i wonder anyways uh bitcoin is at a 1.3 trillion dollar market cap ethereum is at a 451 billion dollar market cap um and tether is hovering around the 112 solana is at 76 billion so guys yo 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 i mean even celsius which we're all still waiting for celsius capital is busy pumping i have no idea why if any of you know why celsius is pumping let me know down in the comments below but i don't know why but anyways guys let's move along Today, the Morales money bubbles, you can see, there is a lot of pump mentals happening here in the space. We've got Wolf pumping 10%, Uni 19, Pepe 13, IMX 7.7, Near 4.20, guys, things are pumping. Okay, let's move on to um, having a look at this beautiful space. Look at where we are, guys. So let's move on to the next chart because so far, this is the most intriguing part of the Ethereum um, ETF approval. So, the approval was issued by a delegated authority, which means there won't be any public commissioner votes to see. But it also means any commissioner, maybe Crenshaw, can technically challenge and ask for a review or vote for the commission by the Division of Trading Markets to uh, the authority. Now, not only that, that was thrilling, and to be clear, the SEC, as I said to you guys earlier on in this video, has approved plans from the New York Stock Exchange, CBOE, NASDAQ for spot Ether ETFs. The SEC still needs to approve issuer plans for spot Ether ETFs, and the SEC has not issued full approval for spot Ether ETFs to trade. That is to come. So just be patient and wait for the money. And if you have invested early enough, which is what I showed you, on this chart that happened because people like yourself myself other people that are in the space guess what that's what that candle was there we bought more ethereum because it is coming hence the sitting we're now waiting over the course of this weekend and further to wait for that liquidity to pump in also new metamask ha has add, has to add bitcoin uh, support which is phenomenal that's really good Bitcoin gains six months after the halving have been huge every cycle. If this repeats, we could see Bitcoin over 140 by September, which I do agree with. I do agree with. Um, and according to the UK conservative magazine, The Spectator, uh, Bitcoin is apparently a threat to all because crypto has entered the world of retail investing. Well, guess what? They're finding it a threat to them because it is going to absolutely obliterate their entire system. So it just is what it is. Kenya is now using Bitcoin to mine renewable and hydropower electricity and deal with Marathon Digital um, and so much more, guys. So let's move on now beyond this. The Ethereum rainbow chart is giving us an opportunity. And I want to point something out to you that it seems as though we're currently at a position like this right now. Okay. Um, where we're about to look at the potential opportunity of a massive rally right up, okay? We have broken out. Look how obvious that downtrend is. We are coming now into the HODL Ethereum phase. Don't buy any more. But unfortunately, I have to say to you, the institutions are about to start buying. In the next couple of weeks once trading opens institutions will be buying ethereum and the more ethereum they buy there's only about 12 million or so ethereum left on the exchanges they're probably going to scoop up around one to two million of that ethereum meaning that they're going to scrape up a whole lot more okay than you would like which means that it's going to pump up this price okay who knows where it goes from there? 
But essentially, they just need to take profits when they're like 1% because of the volume of money that they make. So they just need to take 1% profits and it can hurt the market. But if we look at where the potential of this market could end up going, guys, around 25, 26, we could potentially see a maximum bubble territory in Ethereum of like 14 to 20, 25,000. Maybe, maybe if we have a nice blow off top like this, we could have even more. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below because the US national debt is just pumping, guys. They've put a, nearly a trillion into the market just since the book, basically the Bitcoin ETF launches. So let's go and have a look at that because you can see that it is that I'm not actually talking shit because I've been showing you guys for a number of weeks on my channel now the M2 supply. Look at the M2 supply here. Um, in its entire history since 59 has pumped up and currently it is busy pointing up and bouncing off of our EMA ribbon. So for me, we're bouncing. We're getting ready to like we're pushing through the zone here, guys. We're about to carry on the train to the upside. Do you think that they're going to just let this entire thing collapse? No, 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 especially because the MACD is starting to turn up. The PMO is starting to slow down and turn up we are going to see some crazy stuff. And if you look at the liquidity and the total value locked in crypto right now, it's, it's about 5% uh, of all of crypto is basically locked up, okay? 5%, it's a good number, right? It's a decent number considering where we're at. It's all locked up, but that's got nothing to do with you holding your crypto in your cold storage or in your wallet or anything like that. This is value locked up, earning staking rewards. Okay, let's move on because I'd like to go and share with you a couple things before I exit the video for the community. Now, Bitcoin has been continuously pumping nonstop. It is currently hunting support after the EMA ribbon is finally crossing back up. It bounced off of the ribbon very nicely. It is bouncing and retesting this immediate support zone that we are currently seeing here right now. And if we zoom in is a little bit closer on some charts that it is that I have drawn for you many, many odd times. Look at how perfectly it is breaking through, retesting on my support, my horizontal level. We're busy breaking out of there. We're pushing up on the PMO. We're pushing up on the MACD. Guys, money is flowing. Money is flowing into this space. Okay. Why would you be missing out on this opportunity of a lifetime to make absolutely ex extremely exceptional gains in crypto? Okay especially considering that we're looking very 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 bullish because this is where we got out of the bear market this was at sixty three thousand. okay this is where we essentially have gotten out of the bear market this breakout of this down sloping trend here okay that is the escape out of the real um uh, sorry not bear market out of this, uh, this kind of sideways channel here. So as long as we're smashing this high zone and continuing to make higher lows and finding that support like that, okay? As long as we don't break this zone here, we're keeping the structure intact, which means that our levels will continue to the upside. And as I've previously shown you, okay, we are at that fundamental critical level on this green zone that I drew for you guys multitudes ago because of that support level. So we're currently just finding support on that zone. And if we have a look at gold, currently as an indication too, ironically, uh, you know, let's pull this up a little bit. I'm just going to pull this up so that we can find where that actually leaves us. Look at how this broke through up here, it's finding support, and now we're getting back into that original channel because we were outside of this channel for some time. But we're now broken back in. We're finding support in inclusive of the um, ribbon, although we are getting like some sort of double top here. We could come back to some support here at this zone here, at this wick at 2,150. It's not impossible. 
But if we did, that would give us very good cause for a very strong buy and liquidity. Now, Ethereum is doing the same thing. Bitcoin dominance is doing the same thing, doing higher highs and higher lows, essentially uh, bouncing off of this very critical green zone as well. And then the total crypto market cap is too bouncing off of and twisting up on the ribbon. So break up, hover on it, break up, retest, find some support and continue the pattern. Well, guess what? That's busy happening on all of crypto right now. Okay. All of crypto as well as the M2 money supply, ironically, isn't it? Isn't it so? So if you guys have enjoyed that so far, make sure to subscribe to my Twitter, make sure to give, share some love on my YouTube page. If you're watching this and have not yet subscribed and are still here with me, I truly appreciate you as a loyal subscriber. Hit my buy link down below and let's go and see my trades at the moment. Because even though some of my trades still in a little bit of a negative. I'm okay. I've added certain liquidity to some positions. I got into a couple new trades. Um, and right now, I'm just going to slowly add to my position because we are, as you can see here on Ethereum, getting ready to possibly go up. Um, but I wouldn't be surprised if we did. I mean, we did. We already wicked down here. So we've done that. Check. Done. Right now, you can see my ETH trade is 245% in profit. Okay, my Bitcoin trade is about 2,800% in profit. My Gala trade is now 11% in profit. My Casper trade is now 2.6% in profit. And my Say trade is about 7% in profit. So, wow. This is a good place to continue to buy back into Ethereum, guys. If you are ready to make some money, look at my trades. Look at my trades with you. Okay. Yeah, sure. You want me to take some profits? No. I'm waiting. I'm going to be patient because the altcoin season is just getting started, especially if we're about to see M2 supply come in. So if you have not yet seen this video, this video, and this video, go watch those videos. I'm going to leave them in the cards up above here for you guys. Truly appreciate all of you. Thank you for being here with me and we'll see you on the next one. You bless the beautiful souls.